Hey all and welcome to my vlog. My name is Erin and this is the Whitmas Eve writing tag. So this is the tag that I am developing myself and the rules are very simple. Number one, give a brief description of your whip and number two, tag other people so that they can do the tag too. My whip is a contemporary romance set in Seoul. Tessa Hale is an author and she flies to Seoul where her book is being turned into a drama. Upon arrival, she discovers that the lead in the drama is being played by the idol she has been high-key crushing on for several years now. She has to navigate the culture shock and her own rebellious feelings. Beckon Gee is taking a break from music to pursue acting as a bit of a coping mechanism to deal with his growing despondency. He's used to putting on a mask for public and acting isn't really so different. When potentially compromising images show up in the media, his company is quick to act, suggesting a marriage of convenience to temper the worst of the scandal. He's not pleased about this idea, but it just might be the best thing that's ever happened to him. So Christmas is not a huge thing in South Korea, but for the purposes of this tag, I'm going to ignore that. Number one, which character is most likely to make their presents for other people? Kelly is going to make you the best damn Christmas cookies you have ever had and she will give them to you in a perfectly decorated box. This character grew up in Canada and her moms were super into the holidays. Which means that Kelly is super into them too and brings that to everyone around her. Kelly is the best friend of my leading lady Tessa and they grew up together and continue to be besties even though Kelly has moved to Korea. Number two, which character is most excited to learn about holiday traditions from other cultures? Pyong Ho is the resident historian of the group and he loves learning about other cultures. He doesn't have a huge role in book one, but he's going to make a much more significant appearance in book two. If he had the money, he would definitely be traveling the world to experience a lot of the festivities in person. Number three, which character is most likely to overspend on their secret Santa limit? Money and price limits mean very little to Min Jae. He is the maknae of the idol group in my story and already a reader's favorite. If he loves you and he thinks that whatever it is is going to make you happy, he's gonna shell out for it. I wouldn't say that he's a spendthrift exactly because he doesn't shop willy-nilly for himself, but he has absolutely no problem spending money on the people in his life. Number four, which character's gift wrapping looks like a work of art and which one looks like it was run over by a truck? Juan's gift would look like it was wrapped by angels. He takes pride in looking good and this definitely extends to his gift wrapping. Perfect edges, color coordinated bows, perfectly curled ribbons, you name it, Juan's got it covered. He is one of the idols in the story and also the lead of book two. Binky would try to wrap things beautifully, but that is not where one of his talents lie. <laughs> if he really needed something to look nice for people, then I think he would be much more likely to opt for a fancy bag and some tissue paper, or he would just pay to have it professionally wrapped. He is our leading man, and don't worry, what he lacks in gift wrapping skills, he more than makes up for elsewhere. <laughs> Number five, which character takes over the kitchen to prepare the holiday meal, and who avoids it like the plague? Kelly, Minju, and Sung Soo are the dream team in the kitchen. All three of them are pretty skilled cooks, and you can absolutely count on them to turn out a feast. You've already met Kelly, Minju is her husband. He's a teacher and he's basically A plus husband material. Sung Soo is the eldest of the idols in book one that are not currently serving their mandatory military service. He is basically maximum dad friend and wants to make sure that all of the maknae are fed. None of them would get to avoid the kitchen. That's a rule in their house. You have to help somehow. So I don't think Juan and Minje or Ungi would want to cook, but they don't really have a choice in helping. Number six, which character is most likely to take advantage of the mistletoe? Minju might seem quiet and reserved, but he would absolutely be a cheese ball with this. He would either hang the mistletoe over his wife's head or just like casually maneuver her across the room until she's standing under it. Number seven, which character is most likely to dress up for the holidays? Santa hat, ugly sweater, jingle bells, you name it. Tessa and her whole family would do this. Her mom would be 110% into this concept and our leading lady would have grown up having many photos with hideous Christmas sweaters. Tessa is our main character and her family is incredibly important to her. She would basically do whatever it takes to make sure that they're happy even if that means wearing excessive festive wear. Number eight, which character is most likely to spike the eggnog? I'm gonna go with Chun Hye. She'd probably think it's hilarious and also she would get to have a few illicit sips without anyone finding out right away. She is the younger sister of Unki. 
And though she has some rough edges, she is going to blossom as the series goes on. Number nine. Which character started listening to Christmas music in July? I'm gonna go with Tessa and Kelly. I feel like Christmas would be totally ingrained into their psyches and just remind them of a ton of happy memories. Something would remind either of them of a song and then suddenly they're humming it in the middle of summer. <laughs> Number 10. Which character is most likely to put up their decorations but then never take them back down? Kyung Mi is way too busy wrangling the boys to ever have time to take down her decorations. It's honestly a wonder she got them up to begin with. Kyung Mi is the manager of the idol group in my book. She takes her job extremely seriously, in part because there are so few female managers in the industry, and she wants to pave the way for others in their success. But also, she's just a very intense person, and she's not really great with frivolity, but I feel like she would really enjoy it anyways. <laughs> that is all the questions I've got for the tag. I'm going to be tagging Stephen Partridge, Elvin Reader, Catherine Dovland, The Discerning Reader, MK Painter, and Emma Fink. All of their channels, as well as a list of the questions, will be in the description below. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you liked it. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you'd like to be notified as soon as I upload, then ring that bell. If you'd like to participate in the tag, please do so and tag me so that I can see your videos. Or if you would prefer to do it on another social media platform, that's cool, tag me, I will look. All my social media links will be in the description below. Both of my books, Olympian Confessions, Hades and Persephone, and Olympian Confessions, Hera, are available in ebook and paperback. Links will be on my website. And I'll see you all next week with another video. Bye! <sighs> Why? <laughs> no. No. <laughs>